Want to get more money for your home? Of course you do. The question is, where do you invest the money to get the most disproportionate returns possible? In this video, I will expose exactly how we invested $5,000 into one of our home flips and got $25,000 more on the sale price and how you can do the same. Hi, my name is Rafael Velasco. I'm a licensed real estate agent here in Illinois. We work with clients just like you to help them buy and sell houses in the Chicagoland area. At the bottom of this video, you'll find a link to reach out to me for any additional information or questions you may have. You can call, text, or schedule a video chat in the description below. All right, let's get started. The number one thing that you must do in order to get your home sold for the top dollar is investing in paint. Paint is the best return on your money invested by far. A fresh coat of paint makes a house feel new, clean, and updated. When we go and look at a property to invest in, the first thing we do is see how much work needs to be done. If it's a complete gut job, then we move on. But if it just needs some TLC, then we get to work. We decided to put a fresh coat of paint on the entire home and paint a clean white throughout. And this took about two weekends to complete and the cost was around $600 in material. Paint is the best return on your money when it comes to home improvements. A fresh coat of paint might transform any home into a lovely, clean home. Earlier this year, we posted an article titled, Does Fresh Paint Increase Home Value? In it, we covered a study completed by Home Gains. The survey found interior paint will return over 107% of the money invested. We also covered the most popular colors of 2022 in that article. I will link it below if you would like any ideas and color palettes that are really in today. Investment number two is staging. Staging refers to making a property more appealing to potential buyers. It may be one of the most effective and simplest methods to get the most out of your home. Staging can influence a buyer's purchase decision since it puts your property in the best light and demonstrates how fantastic it may be if only some effort were made to improve it. Professional staging can be expensive. However, if you're willing to put a little effort or have some taste, you can easily do this yourself. Here are some quick tips on how to stage your home. One is to paint all the walls a neutral color. Clear off all surfaces, including tables and countertops. Put away personal items such as family photos or large collections. And replace any old or worn out furniture and fixtures. Staging is not very financially demanding, nor does it require much time. However, since first impression is critical in real estate, it can be one of the most profitable investments for sellers. We also cover in a blog article the step-by-step -step process to stage your home. I will provide that link in the description below. Investment number three is landscaping. Owners are continuously looking for new ways to enhance their house and make them stand out. And this is especially true when trying to sell or rent a property. A well-maintained front yard can aid you in your endeavor. When visitors approach your home, the first thing they notice is the front of your home. It's also the first impression you make on a potential homeowner. If you're searching for simple, inexpensive methods to spruce up your property, landscaping is a cost-effective way of adding value to your home. Here are some tips for landscaping on a budget. Get rid of dead plants or debris in your yard. Trim the hedges and bushes. Pull weeds by hand or use weed killer. Add mulch to your flower beds. Plant some flowers and shrubs. You can find more tips in our blog article titled Five Front Yard Makeover Tips on a Budget. I will link that blog article below. Adding value to your home doesn't have to be expensive. There are many simple budget-friendly ways to do it. Investment number four is photography. The most cringe-worthy moment for me in real estate is when I see listings with terrible photos. This is the number one thing that will turn off buyers from your home. If your photos don't attract a buyer, they will never take the time to request a showing so your property could miss out on many potential buyers and offers. A picture is worth a thousand words, and when it comes to real estate, this couldn't be more true. Good quality photos can make or break a listing. You might wanna reconsider if your realtor takes photographs with their phone. Simple photos can make or break a deal. Investment number five is drone video. Drone is becoming more and more popular in real estate. Aerial shots give the buyer a completely different perspective of the property. It will also help them understand the layout of the land much better. If you have a big lot, this is an excellent way to show it off. Buyers are always looking for extra land or acreage. If your home is near any landmarks or has a beautiful view, make sure to showcase that in your video. Video is ever so becoming a necessity when it comes to marketing your home. If you hire a professional to take photos and video, ensure they are using the latest trends and technology. 
As a business, we understand the importance and value of video brings. This is why we offer video service to all our clients. Reach out to us if you're interested in learning more. Here are some tips for taking good drone footage. Get a bird's eye view of the property. Focus on the land and the lot size. Showcase any nearby landmarks or views. And make sure the video is well lit and clear. We hope you enjoyed this video. Please contact us if you have any questions or want to learn more about our services. We would be happy to chat. I hope you got some value out of this video and I hope you can put some of this info into practice. If you did, give us a thumbs up. We really do appreciate the support. Be sure to watch how we completely transformed this 1950s Cape Cod into a spectacular forever home. We're always here to help, so please don't hesitate to reach out. If you're looking into buying, selling, or investing in real estate in the Chicagoland area, feel free to give us a call, email, or you can also book a video consultation using the link in the description. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.